welcome to another episode of Super Hostile Online. I am back from my vacation, and for the first time in 10 days, I am about to log out of the server. I have missed two Monday updates since then, so I really don't know what I'm going to find, but let's go ahead and jump on. I am also feeling a little bit sick right now, so I apologize if my voice is a little bit uh, quieter or if I have to turn away the cough at any point. I'll try to mute all that out, but please forgive me if I miss one or two. There's not a lot of people online right now. <clears throat> it is fairly earlier in the uh, day, according to standard Vexian time. I don't have a lot of equipment on me. I don't remember what I logged out with, but uh, you know what? Let's just grab some food and go check stuff out. What do we have here? Steak looks good. Let's uh, Let's keep quite a bit there. Like I said, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to find, but let's go ahead and check it out. Um, do I want anything else? I don't need a shield, really. Maybe some arrows? I don't know if I really want to take my iron sword. Yeah, I definitely don't want to take these. I'll take ten arrows, and... Oh, I forgot I organized everything. That makes me feel happy. I'll take one additional axe as well. Gotta take it from there. And I guess that pick can be for emergencies. So let's go ahead and check out what we find. Hi mods, I'm on vacation. I'm going to make my own little welcome home sign. Welcome home. Milkovar. Hey, I made it for myself. Yay, I feel special. All right. So far, looks pretty much the same. Don't know what's going on down there. Let's go check that out. Uh, we have the speed and hunger button still. Perfect. I only have five levels on me. That's good. I'm not too worried about losing anything I have. Does everything down there look the same? Hmm. Looks like spider webs. I don't remember if that was still what it was before. So we have, for something to be gained, Alchemy Shop. Oh, alchemy got added to the game! Maybe? Under construction, so it's coming. Okay, so that's very exciting. So Alchemy is on its way soon. I have... Oh, is that... I think that's my guild. I think that's... Okay, we're gonna go check that out next. Um... I'm very excited that Alchemy is going to be added to the game. I was wondering when that's going to happen. Uh, like I said, I haven't kept up to date during my vacation with what's going on on the server. I've checked Discord once in a while just to see if I missed anything big. Uh, but I haven't watched any of Vex's latest episodes. I think he's released a couple. Um, there's also a UHC going on, which is my favorite part of Minecraft as a whole. So I need to go watch all those videos too. Got a lot to catch up on. Very excited for it. This is okay. We're gonna let's get the full uh, view just in one here. But yeah, lots, lots of ooh. I like chaotic skilled, like a little library down there. Um. All right. What is this? Is this a separate entrance? Oh, this is like a side kind of entrance that we can't use. All right. And ta-da! Wow. Okay. So it's still. Doesn't look like it's done yet, but looks like there's quite a bit of progress. Monuments Guild Hall, that is us. Ooh, I like these little heads here. Skeleton Creeper Skeleton. Sorry about that, I had to cough real quick. Uh, block of Infinite Derm, <laughs> that's still there. What do I have in my Ender Chest? I have some pretty good stuff, actually. I should go sort that back in my apartment soon. What's in here? Floor Quartz, do not take. Oh wow. Free sandstone. Cool. We got our records in there still. Oh, <sighs> Alright, hat rack fund. We need 50 GG, either light blue or cyan hat. Um, well, that's not even close to 50 GG, so. I wonder if they already bought it. What's well, this way? Yeah, I guess I can talk a little bit about my vacation, too. So, my girlfriend and I, we are from Michigan, and we took a road trip 
uh, around the East Coast a little bit. Visited some friends who were in grad school and uh, just kind of wanted to see some places we haven't been to before. So we drove to uh, Pennsylvania first, visited one of my friends who lives kind of near Hershey, and that was cool. Uh, Hershey as a company was a lot smaller than I thought it would be, um, but we got to do like a chocolate tasting. We got to create our own chocolate um, out of some different ingredients, and then we also got to sample some from around the world. I did not know. Can I exit here? Okay, so this is purely just for show. I did not know that chocolate from tree different trees around the world would taste so differently, but it is massively different. Um, also learned a kind of an interesting fact, which is that chocolate uh, grown in Africa. Sorry again. Chocolate grown in Africa right now is currently the uh, vast majority of the chocolate that they use in Hershey's chocolate, um, which they can use others, but it just I think they're t I think for the taste they go for is just the easiest to use. But because of certain uh, oh little lag spike there, because of certain changes in the climate currently happening in Africa, I think they said that it's heating up in the specific region where their chocolate trees are. Chocolate grows on trees, by the way, cocoa beans. They grow on trees. Well, if anyone, anybody who plays Minecraft should know that. Volcano dungeon? What? Okay, we'll come back to talk about some of this stuff. But, um... Yeah, so chocolate grows on trees, and apparently that area has been heating up lately, so some of their trees are starting to die off um, that Hershey uses, and they are actually pretty worried that if it continues, they, uh... Whoa. Okay, we're gonna let this load in for a minute. Um, if it continues, that they are going to lose their largest supply of uh, chocolate trees. And if that happened, then Hershey as a company would be not able to produce nearly the amount that they currently do. This is so cool. Again, I'm sorry that my voice is kind of quieter right now, and you can probably hear me. I'm a little congested. I'm not sure if I got sick from something I did on the trip or what, but I'm uh, feeling just a little bit... Oh, wow. That was dangerous. Just a little lethargic, and my throat was a little dry. So hopefully it's nothing too serious, but I guess we'll, uh, we'll have to wait and see. So this is very cool. It looks like Vex has restored some of the natural landscape that we've had, or at least updated it. Um, I am definitely going to have to watch Vex's videos because this looks so different from what I remember, even just recently being here. Bones. I used the wrong block data for tree leaves. Leaves decayed when they should not. I'll fix it next week's update. Cheers, Vex. Just pretend the trees are growing right now or something. Okay, I can't even open the door now. Okay, whatever. I think there's a lag spike coming. Yep, okay. So, it looks like the lag is not completely fixed. i um, wondering what has caused that. I believe that Hevex has probably updated the hardware by now. Maybe not, maybe I'm wrong. What is this? Seriously, don't take the gold. Who can? We can tell who did. You can't mine it without an iron pick. Kitsune Shrine and Mages welcome. Please donate. We must help Sir Vex Davian repair the field. Bones. Oh, there's a skeleton. My heart just jumped a little bit. I forgot this is a hostile environment and that I should be careful about what I'm doing. Okay, at least my mining fatigue is off now. So I can defend myself. This is very cool. Okay, I'm impressed already. Spider. No, um, you're not even worth my time. Whew. I might end up cutting this video short, actually. Uh, not quite yet, but um, I'm just feeling a little bit taxing on my voice right now. And I'd rather not uh, make my throat even more sore, if I can help it. But, uh, yeah, so after Pennsylvania, we went to New York City, which was awesome. Never been there before. Uh, went and saw the Statue of Liberty. 
by the way, the line to go see the Statue of Liberty is ridiculous. We waited for at least probably an hour and a half just to get on the boat, like the ferry over there. And we had like the fast pass tickets, like we'd already booked ahead of time. So if you do want to see the Statue of Liberty, just be prepared for it to be like a several hour thing. The uh, Right before that though, we went into the Central Park Zoo, which was cool, but it was very, very small. Um, I'm from Michigan, like I said, so I've been to some pretty cool zoos, literally in memory of Fort Empty. Um, like the Detroit Zoo and the Toledo Zoo, they're both uh, a lot larger than the Central Park Zoo, and it wasn't really worth the time. It's kind of cool just to say I've been there, but we walked around the entire Central Park Zoo in like 30 minutes tops, and we were walking pretty slow. It's very, very small. It's just like in the middle of Central Park. Central Park was pretty cool, though. That was a nice area. Um, what do we got going on here? Is there a mod on? Emma, go away. Yeah, there's a mod on. Emma's a mod. Okay. What's over here? Oh. Oh, it looks like somebody maybe farmed this area out a little bit. It's just nice to be back in the world after having such a long break. I am not in the best shape to be fighting mobs right now, though. I'm about to sneeze. Ah. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. I had to turn away from Mike again. Um, wow, I am feeling quite congested right now. So, uh, I think I'll actually maybe cut off the video here. Um, really quick to finish up my story though, we went to New York City, overall it was cool and I liked it, um, very, very, very populated, it's bigger than you think it is, even when you think it's big, um, yeah, we, then we went to Washington DC, which was very cool, um, I actually liked DC better than New York, I think, die, oh wow, my Minecraft is off right now. My PvP skills are off. Uh, DC was cool. Um, it was surprisingly less touristy, I would say. Um, maybe not overall less, but the tourism was just very, very concentrated in DC. You know, it's at the monuments. So if you don't want to be in a touristy area, it's a lot easier to avoid. Whereas in New York City, it's just everywhere is populated constantly. So you can't really avoid it at all. Um, that being said, it was cool to see all the monuments. My, uh, grandpa is a war veteran, so I got to go see the, the monument where he served, which was very cool. Um, and I'm excited to go talk to him probably over the weekend or sometime soon, just to like, maybe he'll tell me some stories or something. So that was really cool. Um, and then after that, we went to Raleigh, North Carolina, and that was the last place before we headed back just yesterday. And we arrived late at night. I don't think I got back until about 2 in the morning, um, my time. But Raleigh was cool too. It was, it actually reminded me a little bit of Michigan, just if it was down in the south, just because kind of the things to do there are like beer and bars. And outside of that, it's just kind of an outdoorsy place. And that had a very Michigan vibe to it. Um, but, anyways, that was my trip, and I'm back now, and I'm ready to record more episodes. But first, I'm hoping I can feel better because I still feel very sick and just congested and, I don't know, maybe some sleep and just drinking a lot of water will help clear it up. So I'll catch you in the next episode and hopefully by then I will have watched some more of X's videos and I'll understand some more of what's changes I uh, haven't made. It sounds like there's a new volcano area maybe and there's also, I remember seeing one update by Vex where there's a massive new area larger than the Eastern Commons added to the world, so stay tuned for that. I'll have more info for you guys next time, and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.